Hello everyone, it's Cass from Cass Days and just relax, we are not looking for ghosts, we are looking for ghost towns or semi-ghost towns. We are way down in southern Alberta, it's an extremely hot day, almost 40 degrees, so the audio sometimes is maybe not the best and excuse the background noise of the air conditioner, but uh, we just couldn't be without it. Anyways, let's check this out. The first town we're going to stop here, it's called Rentham. Uh, if I can even call it a town, there's a couple buildings here. A store here says under new management. I think they've been looking for quite a while. But anyways, as you see, there's a lot of empty places. There's not that much left uh, boarded up. There's a couple people still living down here. Mm -hmm. And uh, most of these towns we are trying to find, uh, based on what is left or not, is along the highway 61. As I said earlier, we are deep down in uh, southern Alberta and uh, these towns are kind of a reminder of the early 20th century and the attempt of rural prosperity. But when uh, the 30s, 30s hit with the droughts that uh, changed this area and these towns forever. And we are back on Highway 61 heading east. Uh, it's about 300 kilometers south of Calgary and you can see it's just straight highway, not much traffic, grain fields and then we make a quick stop here. There's a nice little tree coming or actually a couple trees coming up that caught our attention kind of in the middle of nowhere. So we took a couple uh, nice pictures of that and carried on. We arrived in Skiff, so let's uh, check out what's left. I'm sure the lunch is here. You see an old grain elevator and maybe a couple of houses left. That's about it. Lots of birds. And grasshoppers too. That's probably why the birds are out. Watch the birds. Up front we have a grain elevator, not sure if it's even still used. We are also in grasshopper country. Flying, uh, it's probably hard to see into grasshoppers. There's one right on the hood of the car. Here we have a grasshopper in full view. And this is all that was left from the town of Skiff. Back onto Highway 61 again. We are trying to find the town of Legend, but as you can see, Legend is an actual legend. We couldn't find the town anymore. We just could not see a town anywhere, just farm fields, but we came across a couple nice sunflowers as you see here, so we just took a couple pictures. We are arriving in the town of Foremost, as you can see over on the hill there. Um, originally, we planned to stay in a campground here, but uh, we changed our minds. You will see it, we're just going to drive through the campground real quick. But anyways, we changed our minds and uh, traveled a little bit further and the found the 40 mile campground which was actually very beautiful it's by a man-made lake reservoir as well check out our other videos it's called 40 mile campground uh, i can certainly recommend that one as well you know you're in snake country when you see this sun Left, uh, we passed the cemetery, 
from years and years ago, but up front here, as I'm just going to turn in, you see an old uh, abandoned building as well. So we're just going to have a quick look around here. Here we have another one that's all abandoned. There's all some chairs outside and it's uh, more or less boarded up. This building here looks uh, um, still uh, lifting as well, I believe. I'll just turn so it comes into view a bit. Entire town and what's left of it. Proceed to the route. Looks like the red bricks or something that was added later on. Let's just go and have a quick, quick look into the building. Careful where we step. Oh, maybe in an appliance. Thing is an old fridge, old washing machines, and I'm not sure if you can see in the back there. I'm gonna zoom in. Okay, I zoomed in. Not sure if you can see it, but that looks like a fairly old stove back there. So uh, let's turn a little bit here. I'm not sure what's in the back room. That's how it looks inside one of these buildings. Just on a quick side note, even though some of these towns and houses look completely abandoned, most likely it's still uh, private property and uh, no trespassing, so please make sure you respect and uh, pay attention to that. That is the town of uh, Etzikon, about a kilometer or probably about a half a mile plus. And uh, we're going to make a stop and check out the uh, windmills. And it's my understanding they also have a, a museum, so we'll uh, check that out. I'm not sure if you can see the sign still, but it says this road is spent 75% year round. Not quite sure what exactly that means or what to make out of it. So, which 75% are banned and which 25% is open? The windmills and the museum are not covered in this video, so make sure you check out our other videos for that. And the museum and some of these windmills are just to our left here, so we are going to pull in. So we are just arriving in Orion, which is mostly a ghost town as well. So let's go and take a quick tour. Actually, that's their post office here. Orion Co-op, groceries, hot lunch. So that's still something that's open and it's also a post office. And the house over here. Or community hall, I'm not sure what that used to be. Up, but down there we have an old abandoned tow truck. Old house trailer. Long abandoned long ago. All the utilities disconnected. The only gate in the fencing is still left. See the 
sign there, no trespassing. Private property, be aware of rattlesnakes, skunks, raccoons and neighbors. Old baseball field. This one still has a huge satellite dish, so it was obviously lived in until more recent times. Here. I'm just going to show, I'm not sure if you can see or not, but it's just uh, teeming with uh, grasshoppers here. I'm not sure if they show up. I'm just going to take a little walk up here. I just got reminded to pay attention where I walk as well, not just stare into the camera. I don't want to get too close or step onto a rattlesnake or anything like that. Can see over here. I want to get closer to this one up here. There's not that much left of the town either. Here we have some, well, more recent and not so recent left history, like. The museum we checked out a little while ago, that they had some of this equipment. Again, old, old uh, snowmobiles, so that's more recent history. Old trucks just parked. Here again, sometimes I wonder who parked this vehicle here and Pulled the key for the last time and just uh, walked away from it. Check out the tractor here. Here is the house. It's a door open, but it's all it's kind of fenced in, so it's private property. So we'll just stay outside and and have a look here. What are your thoughts? Anything that comes to mind when you see places like that, or you know, as I said, who was the last person? Maybe who was the first person ever entering the house? Who was the last person ever leaving this house? Check out. It's probably the backyard here at one point in time. And over here, probably a neighbor's house, old, abandoned as well. I'm not sure if you can hear it when I walk here. All this little sound that's all the uh, grasshoppers that are chomping away. Walking back, I can only assume that was one time or another a road, which is just uh, part of the field right now. This was the town of Orion, established in 1916 and at one point had around 150 residents and nowadays there's only about seven left. We've got the welcome to Orion, established 1916 and you've just seen what's, uh, what's left of it. And the rest is just wide open prairies. Do you have any ghost towns in the area you live in?
with that all being said thank you very much for watching if you haven't already done so don't forget to like subscribe and share helps our channel out much appreciated and we'll see you in the next one